Seven wins from seven games on the road so far this season for the championship leaders, Leicester City, who walk out here at the Riverside, three points clear at the top of the table. Six wins from eight games for Michael Carrick's team mean they start the day in the top half as they start to make their move towards the playoff places. Since the 23rd of September, no sides have picked up more points in the championship than these two. Josh Coburn's scorer in the 3-3 draw against Plymouth last weekend. Kelechi Iheanacho preferred to Jamie Vardy in the Leicester attack. So 13 wins from 15 games so far for Enzo Maresca's team. The best defence in the EFL. And the joint top away scorers in English football. It is some task here today for Middlesbrough's possession. He's worked out wide by Crooks. It's a poor pass and it might just open the door here for Ricardo, who assesses his options and then decides to go alone straight at Seni Dieng. And it was a gift of an opportunity for Leicester City. Really poor pass there. But Ricardo held up by McNair and then unable to capitalise. But plenty behind it. Seni Dieng in the way. It's been some march up the table for Middlesbrough. After that sluggish start to the season, which saw them fail to win any of their opening seven league games, they've taken 19 points from the last 24 available. Good work out wide, and it's rolled to Dewsbury Hall, but it's blocked by Dale Fry. And Leicester getting on top here. All pulled back, and Dewsbury Hall, who has scored plenty of goals already this season, denied. Leicester City corner. Vestergaard rising and it's beaten away by Dieng. And Vestergaard can't believe that he hasn't scored there. Just perhaps a touch too close to the keeper who reacted wonderfully well to leap to his right to keep it at 0-0. Well, he'll like what he's seeing from his side, Enzo Maresca, but they haven't been able to cash in on the chances that they've had. Plenty to ponder for Michael Carrick. Leicester unbeaten in the last 14 meetings between the two teams. Neatly worked out of a tight position and it's moved on by Hayden Hackney and now Josh Coburn waiting for support. It breaks to Greenwood who might just go for goal but it's straight at Hermansen. Best we've seen really from Middlesbrough so far in this game as we move towards half-time. Comfortable enough save for the Leicester goalkeeper. Ball laid off first time, but the touch is a little loose. Poor on the edge of the area. Crooks with the strike straight at the keeper. Had to do better from there. Poor play from Casey McAteer. Just lacking conviction, really, there. Matt Crooks as the ball was pushed his way. Middlesbrough having a good spell here at the end of the first half. Engel into Coburn and rolls it to his right. Ball pulled back to Crooks, who takes a touch, perhaps didn't need to. And it's kept out by Hermansen, who's getting busier and busier in the Leicester City goal. Crooks found himself in space here under pressure from Harry Winks. Just couldn't really sneak that effort towards the corner of goal. Goes behind for a Middlesbrough corner. Finishing this first half strongly. Dale Fry with the header and it's clawed out by Hermansen, outstanding save. Middlesbrough so close to getting themselves in front with the final action. 
of the first half. Really wonderful piece of goalkeeping by Hermansen. Middlesbrough put together that run of six successive wins, but it is just one point from their last two games. Both sides have had their moments here so far this afternoon as Winks works it out left. Mavadidi brings it up towards the back post, down into the ground and over the top. Really good opportunity there. And it's one which perhaps should have been taken. Tawu's effort, just lacking control really, but good work by Mavadidi. There's been perhaps a bit of a lull in this game. There haven't been too many chances since half-time. Poor pass there from Vestergaard right onto it for Leicester. Challenge comes in, it's well-timed and the effort dragged wide. Hey, Mavadidi, perhaps just sums up how things have been in front of goal so far in this second half. Really well-timed tackle by Johnny Housen. Had to be as well in that part of the pitch. Jewsbury Hall just surrounded there in Mavadidi with a poor effort, really. Well, can someone step up and win this game for their side? Leicester coming here with seven wins out of seven. It's poor by Dieng. And it's touched to Iheanacho, but Dieng atones for his mistake. And Middlesbrough have presented Leicester with some really good opportunities in this game. And they've got away with each of them so far. Really had to reach out high there, Dieng, to keep that out. Leicester perhaps looking the more likely, just in tight to the touchline, but he manages to continue in possession. Now it's Iheanacho, Iheanacho, it's back off the post. Two chances in quick succession for Kelechi Iheanacho, and he hasn't taken either. Rolled in by Ricardo, but it comes back off the frame of the goal. And just look how kindly it came back off that post, straight to Seni Dieng. And Leicester can't say that they haven't had their chances here at the Riverside this afternoon. Just think steps in, Vestergaard risky from him and the ball breaks now to Greenwood. Chowdhury flies in and the referee with Middlesbrough perhaps well placed to continue pulls it back for a free kick yellow card unsurprisingly for Hamza Chowdhury reckless tackle from him but Middlesbrough unhappy they wanted play to continue here so it will be Sam Greenwood it seems Greenwood steps up perfection Absolute perfection from Sam Greenwood. And our Middlesbrough about to topple the league leaders. He could not have hit that any better. Just clipped the post on its way in. One of the best free kicks you will see this season. And it's four goals in six games now for Sam Greenwood. Crowd pleading for the full-time whistle. Leicester come forwards once again. McNair pushes it away and there is the full-time whistle. An impressive victory for Middlesbrough as Leicester City fall to successive defeats. A moment of Middlesbrough magic from Sam Greenwood to win the game. Marking that free kick out of the reach of Madsen Anson with just seven minutes left to play. Plenty to ponder for Enzo Maresca as his side lose on the road for the first time this season, beaten by Middlesbrough by one goal to nil.